What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. War. Oh, 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 oh. You're living in your own private Idaho. Living in your own private Idaho. Underground like a wild potato. Don't go on the patio. Beware of the pool. Blue bottomless pool. It leads straight you straight right to the gate that opens to the pool. You're living in your own private Idaho. Living in your own private Idaho. Keep off the path. Beware of the gate. Watch out for the signs of hidden driveways. I've never seen any signs of hidden driveways. All I see is desolation, cold, snow, ice, and misery. <laughs> Yes, I'm still in Idaho, getting ready for a flight to Arizona, where it will be slightly warmer, I, I'd imagine. Uh, and, uh, well, the, oh, Christmas week, that absolutely fucking sucked. The Dolphin season over. Devils back to sucking like they did last year. Not going to make the playoffs. Dolphins not going to make the playoffs. And Mets, well, they found a way to Met again. <laughs> so, Frank, uh, how, how is Idaho? How was I down this week? Cold. Cold? Snowy. Ice. Everywhere. That sounds pretty miserable. Especially when you have the most miserable man on the planet. Who is that? In the news news today, 61-year-old Betsy Greenbaum was killed while uh, shopping at uh, at Walmart when a car backed over her. Yeah, you see? That's what you get for being outside. Yeah, you shouldn't be out peeing. The toilet pandemic was the best thing that happened in this country. Everyone had to go stop peeing. There's nobody outside. It's misery. <laughs> you, would, you, would, you got to go out food shopping. I don't want to go food shopping. It's miserable. It's terrible. You got to go to this one. Go 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 hey, your mother, she's always got the list. She takes her air in this fucking store. Is that an imitation of your dad? I hope so. Yes. <laughs> I don't know who else he'd be imitating there. But, uh, so yeah, look, sounds like your dad's doing do good. Do we really need that many fucking gallons of milk? Hey, man, I've been thrown all right down the drain. Hey, you know, you're stupid. You're stupid, you fat fuck. You're stupid, you fat fuck. Stupid, fat fuck. Smart, fat fuck. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, here's a fucking cigarettes. And then, and then, and then she says, and then, and then, and then she's, 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 and all he does is just, just like. I want to watch Dungeon Shooting. No, no, no. And then he watches this stupid show, White Earp, from like the fifties. And do 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 do. I set them up with a fucking Roku player. Oh, my mother now heck. finally got the hang of it. My father. I don't want to watch anything like that. They'll monitor what you're watching. I don't want to watch that. No, I want to watch. Oh, look at this. This is a white one. This one was on two weeks ago. It's a good one. But do 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 do. And then he watches like this this other shit like 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 fucking emergency. God damn it! And then he watches those eighty shows. And the worst neighbors ever. And then two hours later, he shows on and goes, "Oh, I wanted to see it again." He watches the devils on the devils on the cable. No, no, I ain't gonna watch the devils. I'm gonna be the devils like I've been the match. Yeah, the match. That cost Korea. I tell you why he's gonna flop. And then they fall through it. And on he flop. Matter of my manoik. Your dad was trolling you over Korea. Yes. Oh no! He said. He said. My leg is still powerful. I. This one mess never would. If you can't be happy, yeah. If you're happy, I'm miserable. Everyone has to be miserable. It's I'm miserable. <laughs> I need a therapy session after that, Frank. This sounds like. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, Frank! <laughs> that sounds kind of crazy. I mean, I feel terrible, but um. Now I could see why you like the Mets so much and uh, why the misery is there. So, damn. You get trolled on Twitter and in real life from your own father. It's got to be he, miserable. He is the most miserable person. He, he, he always talked about wanting to go to a place where no, he couldn't see his neighbor. Where there was nobody around him. He's got that now and he can't fucking stand it. 
because it's, oh, it's too cold. Are your parents planning on staying in Idaho, or are they going to move somewhere warmer? They were trying to, but I don't think they're moving anywhere. They're not in good health, and it takes effort. It takes effort. I was in a, a place that I would say is squalor, filth, everywhere. I mean, I need to, you want to watch the Dolphins? Well, I hope they fucking lose. Ha ha, your quarterback's hurt. Your ugly quarterback is hurt. You see, that's because you chose to eat at two o'clock instead of noon. I want to eat at noon. <laughs> Thank God your dad doesn't uh, have a computer and uh, watch this, Frank, because he's a techno. Yeah. He's a technophobe. A technophobe, right? He's a yeah. Technophobe. He's got a flip phone. It's crazy. Let me show you some examples, Frank. Yeah, it, so- it sounds like this Christmas week took a lot out of you. I am just so glad. So glad it's fucking over. Well, uh, how's your how's your mom doing? She's doing good. Yeah, she's okay, but it's just she's in he- poor health too. Kitchen table is a fucking mess. Let yeah. me just. Did I mean, you we cook for them? At, we were sitting at uh, eating on TV tables because the kitchen table is 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 un yeah you can't eat on the kitchen table. There's just shit piled everywhere, and everywhere there's shit. Everywhere there's shit. Shit everywhere there's shit. They they did they, they don't let the they, don't, they haven't house trained they did the dogs are on wee wee pads so I'm stepping around the little the chihuahua shit the entire time. Oh, oh This boy. is the kitchen table. It looks like a hoarder's table. Yeah, damn. Are they hoarders, Frank? Uh, they might be. Uh, this is this is the uh, the freezer with all the uh, old soups in there, and they don't uh, notice they don't have Tupperware door dishes. They just use old. Uh, Country crock uh, containers. Oh, God. Does country crock still even make stuff like that? I, I haven't seen country crock in years. <laughs> Here's the other freezer. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Frank. <laughs> you want to talk about fucking hell? <laughs> oh, and, and for no reason whatsoever, they just keep these uh, fro- freezer packs in the freezer. Not that they're shipping anything. You never know when you're going to need it. You never know. Could you diagnose your parents as being hoarders? Uh, they possibly are hoarders. I mean, it's just... Uh, I, I try to have my father do a... What are you doing? I can't handle this camera. I don't know how to do it. Is your dad part Rottweiler? <laughs> Dude. I gotta like I gotta handle myself here. Frank, how's it feel to be at the hotel then? Are you happy that you're uh you're I at the hotel? I, I, uh, I am happy. I I uh, I I, I, uh, I wish they would have flown me out of here two days ago. It'll be nice and warm weather. I think it's 65 degrees in uh, Arizona right now. My buddy just texted me uh, uh, yesterday. It was 65 degrees. So I don't know if it got warmer, but it should be nice. Be a fun time. Uh, the I mean, it wasn't even as cold as it was most years. But yeah, I had to, I had to actually go to a place today and try to do a reshoot of the hot dog review because my father didn't re- uh, didn't record the hot dog review, the actual hot dog review. Uh, you kept the camera. The camera's too hard to understand. Uh, you know, the only camera I like are Polaroids. You push the button and the picture shoots out, and that's it. I hate digital cameras. They're terrible. <laughs> and if that's like an older camera, Frank, the one that we used to raw dog, isn't that an older camera? No, it's not that old. How old would you say that camera is? I brought it last year. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was an older camera. Maybe I no, just don't I know brought, my camera. I brought it 2021. 
Oh wow! Okay, nice. Um, but, so but, since your dad was but, trolling yeah. you, I don't want that. You know, a computer. It, it causes your brain to melt. It, it, it destroys everything. That's why we have everyone that's so fucking stupid. Does your dad have a laptop or or computer uh, desktop or anything? He refuses to touch a computer. Refuses. So there's no computer in the house? Oh, my mother has one. But my father and refuses Wi-Fi. to touch He's just off the grid. Wi-Fi pretty much sucks in the, uh, over there. Because they live in the middle of nowhere and they have a satellite dish uh, that gives them their, uh, their internet. So Will your they dad's s- showing you about Korea. Do we what? start talking about the Korea deal? I just know it's going to fall apart. He's going to end up on the Braves because it's always the worst case scenario. The Braves don't spend money, Frank. Uh, yeah, they'll get him. They'll get him uh, on a six-year contract for twenty-four million dollars. I don't know. I uh, I don't see how Korea could have a second deal fall through. And expect to get anything else on the open market. But it just seems, it, it's just dragging on and driving me nuts. What do you Fred, think of it, Pat? I think even if it falls through, it's not still Wilpon. Because they have still spent a lot of money. It's just, if it falls through, they're going to have the same lineup that they had last year, which I felt they were a bad They got to get rid of Dan Ruff. They got to get rid of Dan Ruff, and I don't trust Escobar. Well, Brett Beatty will be ready soon. I don't trust I don't trust Escobar. He's just too damn streaky. I think he'll be the right hand, uh, the DH against lefties, and Vogel back of the DH against righties. I can't. I uh, Dan Ruff has to be away from. The, I had a dream that Dan Ruff threw a ball, three consecutive ground balls. One was a to, to try to get a double play, and uh, he threw a ball that caused uh, Jeff McNeil's leg to break. And uh, Jeff McNeil's getting hurt. He's doing a gritty. And then the next one, he throws to uh, first base, and Pete Alonso gets a broken neck. And then uh, Dan Ruff does another a gritty. And then at the end of the year, they had Dan Ruff's stats. Eight, eight, oh, 247 errors, and he smiles like this. And then, then he goes, then he's, uh, then he's running on the field with a blooper. And he says, that I tore down the mess on the inside. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Sean, uh, 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 Scott Van Pelt calls him the hero of the year. <laughs> Like Scott Van Pelt was doing the gritty the other day when the uh, to uh, to every uh, for every uh, interception. Yeah. So what's going on with this, Frank? Uh, we got a December dive going on with the Dolphins and to uh, it's over. Uh, the season's over. They have no shot. They're going to lose their final two games with Teddy Bridgewater. T- Teddy Bridgewater is terrible. Uh, the Dolphins need a quarterback. Two is too brittle. He can't stay healthy. And uh, he really isn't that good anyway. He has the two best receivers in the league, and they and they lost four in a row, and their season's done, over, complete, kaput. Who would you and like? And I get? don't want to hear any Jets fans say the Jets are more. Yeah, and this is right. If I wish Clemmer was on for this one, I don't want to hear any Jets fans saying that the, the Dolphins, the Jets are not worse than the Dolphins. The Do- Jets are. Not a more cursed than the Dolphins. There's, there's nobody more cursed than the Dolphins. Nobody. They've made the playoffs twice in the last 20 years. And they've had eight, eight December collapses now. Eight, eight. <laughs> Their record in the last uh, last 100 December games, the Dolphins are 17 and 83 in December. Is that a real stat? It feels like it. <laughs> what are we going to do, Frank? What would you do if you're the general manager? Who are you going to trade to or for? Not Lamar. Well, Not Lamar. One. That's the first thing that has to be to the uh, gone. Chris Greer is incompetent. Incompetent. He is This pathetic. is a guy who, who... He got Tyreek Hill, Frank. He had he got Jalen Waddle, got Tua, decent offensive line, no, David Howard who no, lost the no, ability to play. No, 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 Terrible offensive line, secondary that couldn't cover me.
All right. I the uh, right. the opponents convert our uh, the Dolphins this year on the fourth down plays. Other teams are ninety eight percent on completing uh, fourth down conversions. And on third down, the Dolphins uh, allow uh, f- uh, first down eighty two percent of the time on third down. Where are, do you get these stats, Frank? Are these are these Frank Banks? It's my eyes. <laughs> Thanks, stats. <laughs> Thanks, stats. Like Darren Ruff next year, he's gonna have a uh, he's gonna hit into uh, 411 double plays and strike out 199 times, not get a hit, and he's gonna have a WAR of minus 109. Frank, the Mets can trade Darren Ruff. He, he's only out three million next year, and uh, I don't see how they're gonna keep him. I hope that I, they did. Well, they traded uh, James McCant. Uh, I don't even know what they got back for James McCant. I don't care. They saved $5 million. What? They saved $5 million. They, they're paying $19 million of his $24 million he's owed. Yeah, but what did they get in return? Player to be named later. Yeah, well, I want the same player to be named later uh, for Darren Rock. I think that could be arranged. I mean, he's a, again, like I said, he's not making much money. And they got to get, they got to complete this career thing because it's, it's seriously driving me nuts. He, he is the final piece, the final piece they never get. Well, don't you find it a problem if they do sign him? Like it took this long to sign them. There's got to be a problem, obviously, with the physical and everything. So, what are your but thoughts? But he doesn't miss do any games. Okay. If he has an ankle problem, that's it's not it's a lot better than having a back problem or a knee problem. He has a plate in his leg. That's that's the whole dilemma here. Mm. Yeah, well, hopefully. so what do you think of that then? If he could stay healthy five six years, I don't care what he does. The uh, the, the back end of the deal. I want a championship. If he wins, t- if he wins two championships in his first six years at the Mets, and sucks his last six years, and we have to Bobby Benilla him. It's totally worth it. Yeah, they're World Series contenders if they get him. Easily. Plus I mean, 650. They got to they gotta put, they gotta do it. Uh, it, 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 it. It makes everything else flow. You could, uh, you could uh, keep, uh, you could put Beatty in left field and he could be that, that fourth outfielder, which, which I think they still need. Cano would be the fourth outfielder. Who will be the third one? Beatty, if he's if he plays left field. Yeah, well, it could be a platoon. I want a lefty to complement Canna because I don't think Canna is truly an everyday player, and I think you saw that over the long term last year. Yeah, I agree. I think Canna is a guy that's good playing a hundred games and uh, being limited against uh, right-handers. I mean, I mean, to play mostly against lefties, uh, but not play every day. Where does um, where does Alvarez fit into the equation? If he's ready to go, he's the, court, the, the catcher. If he's not, Tomas Nito is. And, and Omar Navarez. What? And Omar Navarez. Navarez. I view him as a backup. I don't think he's a starter. So he was an all-star a couple of years ago. I mean, he's certainly better than McCant. <laughs> and McCant is never going to play. How happy were you when you found out he got traded? They had to get rid of him. It was just bad. It was, he was a bad player. And, and, and you know where he's going. He's not going to play. The Orioles got a capture that's, uh, that's so much better. Uh, uh, what's what's the guy that guy's name? That rookie. Uh, oh, uh, Adley Rutschman. Didn't he finish like second or third in rookie of the year voting too? Yeah, he he was good. <sighs> you know, I uh, I got I just got out of uh, the uh, the descent layer of hell and the filth. So much filth in the house, dirt, grime. And two dogs, and the two dogs, two little little dogs, are happy. You know why they're happy? Because of BarkBox. So you can make your dog happy too. So 
Make your dog happy with BarkBox. Make your dog happy with BarkBox. Two toys, two toys, two treats, and a chew, and it's shipped giftly fully right to you. Make your dog happy with BarkBox. Make your dog happy. That's right, we have partnered up with BarkBox. So go to BarkBox.com slash tank and get a free extra month when you subscribe. So make your dog happy. Go to BarkBox, BarkBox.com slash tank and get a free extra month when you subscribe. Whew. But yeah, it, it's... And, and, and like I said, it's it's hell. I, I I need I need I need a team. I need one of my teams to win. I I I I I just can't take this this anymore. The suffering. What's going on with the Devils? They're sucking again. You, They've had a terrible hope. December. Injuries all over the place. I mean, I'm not asking for much. I just want to make the fucking playoffs. Is that too much to ask? I mean, they're a yeah. very good young team. They're not a very deep team. And Arkansas just blew a big lead. And there goes my fucking bet. Is that against Kansas? Yes. They blew that lead? They blew that lead! <laughs> By the way, in bowl season, I have not gotten one right. Not one right. Oh, and 40! It's the Fleming curse. Yeah, right now the Devils, right now the Devils uh, the, are like a, are uh, one eight and nine in their, one eight and one in the last nine game, ten games. It's, it's just been the total collapse. No longer in first place, and now the wild card is uh, is uh, breathing down their neck with the uh, Rangers and Islanders. Only a few points behind, and the Devils now uh, just uh, four points uh, out of being out of the, playoff, the playoffs. So that 13-game winning streak is all but wiped out now. They're losing again to the Bruins. They got to play the Penguins next, and then they play the Hurricanes. So the schedule's just been brutal, too. And then they have injuries. John Marino's hurt. He's out week. He's week to week. Uh, Andre Palat's not coming back anytime soon. They put him now on long term injury list because he uh, skated and they determined that he probably is going to be out for the season. I mean, pain and misery and suffering never end. So you have no faith that they're going to turn it around? Nope. They're back to boot they were last year. And you know why? Because they have someone on their team named Ruff. <laughs> and any. Anything named rough is going to make you suck. I hate Darren Ruff. I hate Lindy Ruff. I hate anyone named Ruff. Was your dad trolling you about Darren Ruff, too? Holy, he is your typical Yankee fan. Describe us what a typical Yankee fan is, Frank. Thinks that the Yankees should win, and if they don't win, this this sport sucks. It's it's not that the Yankees suck; the sport sucks. The Astros are cheaters. That uh, the baseball cheated them, and that the Mets, uh, the Mets, the the the, the Mets for the, for the arrogance of the '80s should never win again. Oh, your dad was offended by the '80s Mets. Yes. <laughs> Oh, he 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 just is he just is a, a piece of work. You know what you mean? You see, this is what's happening. Is everyone's using marijuana now? The whole country's crashing down because of it. <laughs> yeah, I. <coughs> they should ban alcohol too. Prohibition. He's pro prohibition. Yep. Meanwhile, my mother's just going. Because of this. Your mom rips darts. What? She rips darts. Yeah, I guess that's uh, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. In between, in between her th- the three times a day lung uh, lung uh, treatment, she's ripping darts in between. Yep. <laughs> what does your dad do? Does your dad not do anything? He's a retired school teacher. Yeah, but uh, he doesn't smoke cigarettes. He doesn't drink. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't smoke weed. Straight no, up. he just he just stews in misery and anger. Maybe he should try having a drink, smoking a little <laughs> weed. Maybe. I mean, they show they show it like 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 uh like like the and and he watches just 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 main shows, and then they'll have the commercial come on, and it'll be. I'm sixty eight years old, and I'm still getting around. And I'm so mob- mobile, thanks to elder care. Yeah, that's right. Go out there. I hope you die when you go out there, you old bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at her and I'm like, she's younger than you. I don't care. She shouldn't be out. <clears throat> Sounds fun. You only go out to go shopping, and that's it. <clears throat> everyone's out there and their calls and everything. That's why the COVID happened in here. Because everyone wants to be out peeing. <laughs> I would love to see an interaction between you and your dad. Yeah, I was just going to say that would be that would have been our all time content. Get him on I think the for the rest of the time. show, you just. What'd you say, Reed? Just say, get him on the pod for one time. Oh. Oh. Please. That will never happen. <laughs> um, what was I gonna that say? That will never oh, happen. Uh, I just forgot what I. First off, he would have to sit in front of a computer, and he refuses to touch a computer. <clears throat> His last five years of teaching, they sent him down to the library to teach everyone how to read library books because everything was starting to go uh, computer uh, lesson plans, and he couldn't do it and refused to do it. And because it was a union. He was fully vested in the union. He just said, oh, just let him retire. So he was a teacher. He's retired now, but he was a teacher for a while. Yeah. I think we should do one episode instead of having your dad on as you as like impersonating your dad just through the whole episode. Because I think that could make for great content. Yeah, it would. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 he is just. The most miserable planet man on the planet. I would never rat I am somebody. Sun, I am sunshine and rainbows compared to him. That's crazy, but it's true. I'll never rat somebody out on this podcast, but somebody on this podcast just texted me. Feels like a Chevy Chase rant in Xmas Vacation. Not going to say if it's Pat or Reed, but it's <laughs> definitely not Pat. But your your uh, your rants about your dad definitely are like Chevy Chase when he's ranting when he gets the the, the bonus check. Instead of his uh, his Christmas va- vacation check, he goes off. I don't know if you remember, but that's what it sounds like. I, I mean, and, and, and their house. I mean, uh, I uh, I kind of want to send them a maid, but then they don't want a maid because they'll rob you blind if you send them a maid. <laughs> I mean. Send them a maid. I mean, it is, it, it just is stunningly incredible, just, and there's just dust mites everywhere, dust and, uh, and cobwebs, it's, it, 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 there ain't no, there ain't no cleaning anywhere. I mean, it, uh, and then he, then he hates everything Idaho, he hates everything about Idaho, oh, that's Idaho, AC, look how stupid people in Idaho are. <laughs> I thought they were thinking about moving back to New Jersey. No, that actually takes effort and work. Two things that they don't do. I mean, my mother's health is, they're both, and they're both their healths are failing. But it takes effort and work. And it's two, those are two things that they, they don't do. They're practically shut-ins. I What's mean, that? they just sit. They just sit around all day watching different things on TV. My mother's watching just like uh, NCIS, like nonstop. 
I introduced her to Mandalorian, and she en- she actually enjoyed that. And then my nice. father, look how loud that is. It's loud. I don't want any TV loud. And then, <laughs> then I bring it, raise the volume up so I could hear just a little bit. It's so loud. You see, if you have it too loud, your ears are going to start trailing. I have strong ears. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Frank, a lot of things are making sense, dude. The more you talk about your parents, the more I understand these tweets and stuff. By the way, that's look under the couch. You see that dirt? Where's the dirt? I can't see it. Look under the couch. Look under the uh, under the the couch. Oh Oh, my lord! Francis, no. They need a maid in there. <laughs> and I said, you want me to buy you a maid? I don't want a maid to rob you and to laugh at you as they're robbing you. <laughs> My goodness. I don't even know what to I say. wanted to eat Christmas dinner at noon. And you don't have me wait to two. <laughs> I, you deserve to have the dolphins lose. I wanted to eat at noon. I want to eat what I want to eat. And my mother's, I didn't want to wake up that early. That's because you're lazy. <laughs> I've always eaten at noon every year at Christmas. No, this year it's two o'clock. Even two is early for Christmas dinner. Yep. Yeah, I was going to say. I was at the time goal. <sighs> oh, I thought someone was in the room. I was like, who's in there, Frank? I'm trying to... Yeah, they His kind of, dad. Kind of Another the noise complaint. Devils. Another noise complaint, yeah. You know, it's funny to me. You were, you've been talking about teams, and your teams have been sucking, but the, the team that you've been ignoring the most is on a uh, about to be on a 10-game win streak. So, uh, uh, yeah. They, uh, you, you don't give a fuck I, about them, I know, I but... I keep looking at them, and, and I wonder if they're going to suck me in. I mean, are they, uh, I mean, I'm almost getting sucked in. They're about to be 23 and 12, Frank. I got to say one thing. What did I say? What did I say last year? What did I say last year was the biggest problem? What did I say last year was the biggest problem? Steve Nash. Steve Trash. Garbage. And uh, what's the record uh, under Jacques Vaughn? Not a, not, this guy was a terrible coach in Orlando. Yeah. What has happened since Jock Vaughn has taken over? They want to play for him. That, that has to be it. Or they're, it's or not that they want to play Nash. for him. Steve Nash didn't know how to run lineups. He didn't know how to rotate players in. He didn't know how to, okay, my team's getting run upon. I'm going to call timeout. He didn't know how to run a game plan. He didn't know how to run set plays out of timeouts. He didn't know how to do set plays in the game. He didn't know how to rotate his team. Now, I'll, I'll give you granted that Ben Simmons has – been playing at a high level with his defense. And the, the defense, last year the Nets defense just got trashed game after game after game. This year their defense is much better and it's been much better since they got Jacques Vaughn. And, and, and uh, it's true Jacques Vaughn was an assistant coach, but it was Steve Trash just didn't know what he was doing. You, you, you handed the keys to a car to a guy who didn't know what he was doing. And let me tell you, speaking about cars yesterday, Yesterday, uh, we had to go running all around town. And my father was, of course, so happy to be outside the house. Uh, and so uh, we're making runs. I, I mean, uh, did, uh, doing did, different, did different errands like, like, you know, normal people do. And uh, on the way back, we go through the drive through at McDonald's. And my mother's arguing with the, uh, with the person at the uh, window. And the car... Is in drive and she she was like dead, dead. so she like went went too wide to get the car anyway and then she's like away from the window and struggling to get the window and then she like puts the car in drive while she's trying to figure it out and they're dead. they're confused with what she's saying because she my mother's uh, her teeth are kind of kind of shot so her, so she it's hard to understand her sometimes and. So they had to have her come around and explain what they want. And she's talking about the sign out there. 
the sign that's like uh, advertising and she wants to deal on the sign. So anyway, the car starts drifting and like riding it's almost about to run into McDonald's. So I'm sitting in front of the seat like this throw right into neutral. And he goes, what are you doing that for? He goes, the car was drifting. Oh, I didn't see it. I did. Yeah, you, you know, you got to be smarter than the car. Imagine if you guys drove through the fucking Idaho McDonald's. <laughs> the content for that would be amazing. Uh, <clears throat> I had no shot. I had no shot. Well, Frank, uh, what'd you get from McDonald's? Uh, my usual uh, ten piece chicken nuggets and a uh, plain hamburger. No French with fries. fries. With fries. But, yep, with fries. Plain hamburger with nothing on it? Yep. Oh, come on. I hate ketchup. You didn't get any hot stuff? No hot sauce? Nope. But I do know of a good hot so- so- sauce that everyone can enjoy. And you know what it is? It's hot stuff sauce. So looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I need some hot stuff, baby, tonight. <laughs> Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it now. That's right. We have partnered up with Hot Stuff Sauce, made at Exo Taco on Syracuse University Hill in Syracuse, New York. It is the best hot sauce you can ask for. So go to hotstuffsauce.com and get your sauce now with the promo code TANK10 and you'll receive 10% off your order. That's at hotstuffsauce.com. TANK10 for 10% off your order. That's right, the hottest sauce. And if we hit 12,000 followers uh, by January 15th on the Frank the Tank pod, uh, I will drink a full thing of uh, hot sauce on the, the next podcast that happens. You didn't learn your lesson last time? I don't learn lessons. I just repeat mistakes. <laughs> That's a great way to live by. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, I will definitely be drinking uh, one full thing. I'll crack the seal and everything so people aren't like, oh, it's, yeah, right. It'll be the real deal. 12,000 followers on Twitter, please. We're about 500 away right now. 500 away. That's not a lot. It's not a lot. So I might chug half uh, to, get, to get it started, to promote it. We'll see. What's going on in the Devils game, Frank? Uh, it's uh, one one with ten minutes left in the third period. Okay, not bad, not bad. Your uh, Bruins are a good team. Bruins are a very good team, and they played really well. It's just the Devils. It's just John Reno going down. Ryan Graves going down. They miss Nathan Bastion. They're not playing as sharp. Uh, Andre Pilat. God only knows when he's coming back. And they uh, they've just gone back to some of the bad habits they had last year. And they played some really tough teams in December. I mean, after they played the Bruins, they got games against the Penguins and the Hurricanes next. So it's not looking good for the Devils. Yeah, well, they getting to the playoffs will be what I need. I just want them in the playoffs this year. And they're in the end, and they're in a tough, tough. Tough Eastern Conference. A lot of good teams in the East. Not many good teams in the West. But especially Metropolitan Division, there's about four or five, six good teams. I mean, you got the the, the weaker sisters on one end. Uh, let me see. But, uh, but yep, I'm going to be flying to Arizona for the Arizona Bowl tomorrow. Fun. I'll be another state. I check off my list. Yeah, you didn't, never been you to didn't go. Yeah, you didn't go. Yep. Why did he get squashed? Okay, this, like this, this right? Arkansas Kansas game has gone up, gone to insanity. It's now in that that ridiculous uh, two point uh, two point uh, uh, conversion. Uh, the, over time, which is, which I think is kind of crazy. 
So I guess it's fun to watch. Yeah, uh, uh, Kansas scored 18 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. The fucking Arkansas. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's crazy. <sighs> but yeah, I'm in a hotel in Idaho Falls. So looks looks like a pretty nice room. Yeah, it is a nice room. What are you looking forward to do the most in uh, Arizona besides the bowl? <laughs> Being around normal people. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Checks out for sure. Yeah, are you you must be burnt out from uh, the week you just had with your parents. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes, Frank. It's just been rough. I mean... Rough. My father just doesn't have any good words to say about anything. I see the male version of Olivia Soprano. It's <laughs> a good comparison. Yes. Who do you think's worse? Well, Olivia has got more of like the uh, got more like uh, of what was me. My father just hates everybody. Hates everybody. Does he have any friends? No. Not really. I mean, he has his old friend from the Air Force that he talks to maybe about a couple times a year, and that's uh, Abe's father. Hmm. He has maybe one or two friends from his teaching days. I don't even know if he even talks to them anymore. He never had any friends around the house. He never went anywhere. I mean, uh, do you want to know how many uh, va- great vacations I had in my life? One. One uh, in the, when I was seven years old. We went to uh, New Hampshire for the christening of Abe. Uh, when I was uh, 16, I went with my mother out to uh, this part of the country, uh, Colorado, drove through Wyoming, drove through Idaho, went into Montana to meet my great-grandmother and my grandparents. It's the first time I ever actually met them on my mother's side of the family. Uh, but, yeah, and other than that, my father went to, I went, uh, my, my parents went to uh, Hawaii in 2006. And that's the only time he's really ever been out of state. Uh, occasionally when, like, uh, the, growing up, my father went nowhere. He doesn't go to baseball games. Doesn't go anywhere. Doesn't want to go do anything but watch, sit in front of that fucking box all day. And he doesn't even watch the Yankees, right? No, he feels if he watches the Yankees, it's bad luck. How does he stare in front of a TV, but he hates computers? Make that make sense. He hates it. There's so many channels on TV. Look at all the channels. I only need a few channels. I don't need this many fucking channels. What the fuck is this? Oh, fuck this channel. I don't watch that channel. I don't want it. And the streaming services. What are they going to do? They're going to track what you watch. They're going to track what you watch. <laughs> For him, it'd just be Judge Judy. Judge Judy, uh, he... We, he likes watching this one channel that has all these old westerns on it. White Earp, uh, guns, uh, not not Gunsmoke, uh, the Rifleman, uh, and White Earp is might be one of the worst shows I've ever seen. Wyatt Earp. Oh, oh, do 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 do, ooh, ah, do 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 eh, ah. Every time, like like, it, I mean, it's just so, just so inane. Then he watches this Emergency, which is like some show about ambulance drivers in L.A. in the seventies. Uh, the fuck i mean it's in in name then he you know any neighborhood wars customer wars that's his new thing to watch and they show the shows all day on end of sloop and the same show that you that you're watching now will be re-airing in two hours oh my god and then he watched it again yeah miserable i i mean it's it just 
Well, does he, he laugh? Does he laugh that he made you go to bed during the '86 World Series? Probably. He's just uh, miserable. You know, they, I don't know if I'm saying it right. A miserable. Uh, you he, call someone he, a miserable. Miserable. That's the word I'm looking for. He could have ten billion dollars living in a beach mansion, waited on but hand and foot, and he'd still be unhappy. They say money doesn't buy happiness. Nothing. There is nothing that can make this guy happy. The only thing he is happy about is watching the news and people uh, people uh, dying. That makes him happy. Like he's like cheering all the people dying in Buffalo. There's the snow. Oh, jeez. You see, that's what you get for going out. They were stayed in their house. They would be alive today. What were the argue? Were you getting in a lot of arguments? Yes. He's just a miserable fuck, and he just makes everyone around him miserable. My mother is. My mother had stopped smoking for five years. And then he finally broke her down and she's back to like, like, just like, just nonstop smoking. Did you, uh, did he get you anything for Christmas? Yeah, I got a check. Nice. There you go. Check's always mm-hmm. nice. Did, uh, you get your dad anything for Christmas? Well, I got him a Yankee hat. Oh, okay. Should have got him a Mets hat. For the way he trolls you, I would have bought him a Mets hat. <laughs> this is the, I, I got him, a, I got him, it might have been a giveaway at Yankee Stadium. It's got a, a Darth Vader on it. So he likes Star Wars? He doesn't like anything after uh, Return of the Jedi. So just the original three? Yeah. He's never even watched the, uh, the he's never watched episode eight and nine. He refused to watch The Mandalorian. My mother actually liked the Mandalorian. I got my brother a Mandalorian gift set with like uh, socks and uh, a mug. But, oh, my brother got me this uh, this Mets mug. Oh, nice! It's like a bat mug. But. Maybe if the uh, Mets actually, uh, uh, and the, the Arkansas finally won in 55-53 uh, in that uh, ridiculous overtime scenario. 55-53? Yep. Went to overtime. Oh, okay. Jeez. It was, uh, well, the, 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 the Arkansas led 38-20 at the start of the fourth quarter, and and Kansas tied the game, and so it went to overtime, and uh, they did a 2.2.2.2.2.2.2. Point, 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 don't know how many times they did it, but the final, but the, uh, final score is 55-53. Uh, did you win your bet then? No. I don't think I did. <sighs> Fucking awesome. Misery never ends. While we're on the topic of football, uh, do you want to do your Week 17 picks? All right, yep. Okay. Uh, let me grab the uh, lineup the slate this week. <clears throat> All right, we'll start off with tonight's game. We have the Titans at home versus the Cowboys. Uh, the spread the is are done. Malik Willis can't throw. He, doesn't, he does not have an arm. Derrick Henry is doubtful. The Cowboys can finish with the best record in the NFC. The Titans are done, dead. And, and, and even though if it, it's, it's bad for the Titans and things aren't going well for the Titans, they can still win the division if they beat the Jaguars next week. Win or lose for both teams, next week is going to decide the division. So Derrick Henry is not going to play. They're going to rest him. 
because he's listed as doubtful right now. Titans are going to get demolished. Yeah, the spread is uh, 12 right now. You're going to yeah, take the gonna Cowboys minus 12? What was that? You're going to take the Cowboys minus 12? Yes. Okay. All right, we're going to move it to uh, the first game. We have the Broncos uh, going to Kansas City. It's a 12.5 point favorite for Kansas City. Boy, the Broncos really quit on uh, Nathaniel Hackett, and they and they had to fire him. They yeah. they had to fire him. We, he was a he uh, yeah. What was it, what was the name of that movie? The Disaster Artist. But well, he was the disaster coach. He might go down in history as one of the worst coaches of all time. And um, I'm going to take the Chiefs. Uh, they did the right. Uh, they did the right thing. They had to fire him. But I don't think the Bron- I don't think there's any putting. Uh, all the King horses and all the King's men can't put that team back together this year. It's a mess. They have some unknown interim coach. And uh, I think Chiefs trying to get uh, home uh, field win that game. And they win it handily. Yeah, you know he's just the fourth head coach, uh, rookie head coach, to get fired mid uh, midseason. I mean... It's uh, Hackett, Urban Meyer, Pete McCauley, and John. Oh, fuck. The Bruins just took the goddamn lead. Fucking piece of shit. They can't win this fucking game. Um, I mean, it, it, this is just like, this is last year's Devils all over again. All right. Next game, we have the Eagles <laughs> minus six. Uh, they say Jalen might be playing this game. He might not. It's in the air right now uh, against the Saints. Saints are plus six. I think when we're play, even if Minshew plays, I think they uh, beat the uh, beat the Saints. All right. Next game. Uh, this one's going to be stinky. We have the Lions at home versus the Chicago Bears. Chicago Bears are a six-point favorite. Just a reminder: the Bears have covered the spread in the last three games. And they didn't cover the spread last week. Yeah, they did. Oh fuck! No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, I took them minus. I took the Bills minus twelve and a half. You're right. You're right. I am going to say that the Lions win this one, and they win it by about uh, ten points. Okay, uh, that's Lions minus six. That covers. All right. Uh, we have the next game is the Texans at home versus the Jaguars. The Jaguars are a four and a half point favorite. I think the uh, I think the Texans might. Uh, I, 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 as I mentioned before, win or lose, the Jaguars and Texans final game is going to determine who gets the playoff spot in this AFC South. So if the Jaguars lose and the Texans, the t- Titans win, next week it's still up for air. So I am going to, well, I think the Texans cover and might win the game. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah, hell yeah. All right, next game we have is the Buccaneers at home versus the Panthers. Buccaneers are a three-point favorite. The Panthers have not played well away from Carolina. So I'm going to go with the Buccaneers, and that will secure that division. Next game we have the Giants at home versus the Colts. The Giants are a six-point favorite. I the Colts there's no uh, T- Jonathan Taylor Giants you know that playoff spot is coming close I think the Giants win that game and I think they cover. Thank you Frank. There you go. Uh, next game we have are the Commanders Carson Wentz is starting Lord knows why against the Browns the Commanders are a two and a half point favorite. I'm still going to go with the Commanders because I think Deshaun Watson just isn't does not have isn't on track yet. And I don't think he's going to get on track this year. Yeah, he needs to get loose. Uh, next game we have are the Patriots at home versus uh, the Dolphins. Your Dolphins. This is a Reed versus Frank game. Uh, Patriots are going to shut the Dolphins out and win 37 to nothing. I'll take the it. The Dolphins are purely a disaster like the Devils. The pain, misery, and suffering never end. All right, uh, Battle of the Birds next game we have is Falcons at home versus the Cardinals. Falcons are a three-point favorite. I liked how Trace McSorley played. I like how 
I like that. J.J. Watt wants to finish his uh, career strong. Uh, that Desmond Ritter doesn't look like he has any clue what he's doing with the football. I, 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 I think the Cardinals go in and get the uh, win. The Cardinals are – Cardinals don't win at home, but they play a little bit better away from Arizona. And Atlanta, they're just the hardest team to figure. Okay. Next game we have are the Raiders. They're benching Derek Carr for this game. Uh, they are plus 10 against the 49ers. Slaughter. Nick Bosa is the lo- is a lock to be defensive. And there it is. Empty net goal. Game over. <sighs> Pavel Zaka scored it. Fuck. And the guy they, they got for Pavel Zaka has been a total bum! Eric Howler. He's the Darren Ruff of the uh, New Jersey Devils. Yeah, the Niners are just going to smoke the Raiders. All right. Uh, next game is uh, Clemmer's Jets are going to Seattle. They are underdogs here. Or no, they're a favorite. They're one and a half point favorite, the Jets. Jets are going to win. Next game, we have our Packers at home versus the Vikings. The Packers are a three-point favorite. I love the Packers in this game. They're they're gonna get, they're gonna sneak in the playoffs because this this Aaron Rodgers is is uh, made a deal with Satan. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be watching. Oh, I literally said two weeks ago, I was like, "There's a scenario where Aaron Rodgers could still make the playoffs, and if that's and that's, everything, every domino is falling right in their direction. Always, always." We watch. Oh, I don't want to talk about. It. All right, next game we have are the Rams going to. I mean, it's basically a home game for both these teams. They both don't have home teams. The Chargers are at home, six and a half point favorite against the Rams. Chargers are going to just. Our uh, Chargers are going to are going to win that stadium. Okay. Uh, Rams. I mean, they, 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 I wouldn't say it was an impressive Christmas performance. Because the Broncos looked like they didn't give a fuck. And the greatest moment was the fact that they had uh, spun, uh, uh, Patrick Starfish go, uh-oh, that's not what Russ wanted to cook. Yeah, that's I don't terrible. think Russell Wilson will ever recover from that. Can't. Next game we have are the Ravens at home, two-and-a-half-point favorites against the Steelers. Ravens. Ravens, okay. Uh, Ravens. All right. Next game we have are the Bengals. This is going to be probably the game of the week here. We have the Bengals at home versus the Bills. It's a pick em. I think the Bills win late field goal and basically get the road to the uh, number one seed. Uh, I think that, I think that, that this, could be, this could be the AFC Championship game next month. I would love that. That'd be yeah, I, I I think this might be the best Monday Night Football game of the year, and uh, I mean it. It really this is this is a must. It's a must see game. Yeah, this one will be fun. And uh, yeah, well that's it for uh, Tank's picks. So uh, we have some Ask the Tank. You want to go through some Ask the Tank, Frank? Sure. All right. Let me pull that up. <clears throat> All right, first one. Uh, I think we've asked this one before, but this is from AF Matt. Hey, Frank, thanks for taking the question. Here's mine. Who is your favorite mascot in professional sports and why? I am going to say NJ Devil. Mr. Matt is a classic mascot, but he does nothing. He is he is a dead fish, especially on the internet. He just goes around, he plays the horn. NJ Devil does skits, he's funny, he's very active on uh, social media. The handlers of Mr. Matt haven't figured out that you need to do that yet. I mean, that's why he has... As a low following as a mascot can get, they just don't use Mr. Matt correctly. Uh, but the media team, I mean, the Devils suck. 
And uh, the last few years, the only thing that's been good about the Devils is their fucking mascot. Benny the Bull is better. Um, next question Indeed, I Devil. have is... All right. Hey, Frank, if, if the Correa deal falls through officially, do you think it's smart for the Mets to go undergo a full rebuild? From Slim to Boiler. Well, that's a dumb question. Dumb question. Correa is the final piece. He's not. He's not the piece that. That's, I mean, Correa allows you to get rid of uh, Darren Ruff. Yeah. So no. Okay. Uh, all right. Next question is top three reasons why you absolutely hate the Atlanta Braves from Chris Martin ten eight ten seventy eight. They're arrogant. Uh, the nineties were painful. And and I remember when the I remember there was a time when the Braves were like one of the worst franchises in in sports, and nobody cared about them. Nobody cared about them. And then they got that stupid uh, chant, you know. Which one thing for Florida State to do it, but for them to do it, and it's it's just got more and more irritating. And, and the players are unlikable. They don't have any likable players. Well, that answers that question. And then the last question I'll be asking is. And another reason to hate them. They used to be owned by Ted Turner, and Ted Turner's a son of a bitch. <laughs> and you know, you know who Ted Turner was married to at one time? Jane Fonda. So Jane Fonda's out there. You know Jane Fonda. She was the one that was uh, telling... Uh, she uh, she, uh, she went to a... Uh, in 1970, or it might have been 1969, she went to an American POW camp with the North Vietnamese... And was basically scalding the troops. And one troop basically handed her a note saying they're, they're torturing us. She handed a note to the uh, to uh, the prisoners, to the prison, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the Viet, uh, North Vietnamese, and that soldier was beaten to death. Jeez. She Terrible. posed on a anti-aircraft missile. And that was like that shot down Americans. And she posed with the Vietnamese. I mean, well, you have all these celebrities going out there with uh, support the troops. So she went there and she supported the other side. She is a traitor bitch. And she was married to the owner of the Braves. Yeah, that's, that's the reason I hate them. Yeah, fuck that. Now I hate the Braves. Uh, next question and last question is, hey, Frank, this is from Gay Benedict Four. Hey, Frank, who do you think will have the better season this year? Scherzer? Or Verlander. Verlander. Why do you think that? Verlander had a better season last year. I I got a question Scherzer's durability after how he kind of broke down last year. I mean, I hope that Scherzer's able to be fully healthy, but if he's not, I think Verlander's got the uh, better track record of being healthy. Fair enough. Yeah, true. He is coming off a Cy Young season. Well, uh, that was it for Ask the Tank. We don't really have any more questions. Um, just a reminder, follow everybody. Follow us at the Frank, the Frank the Tank Pod on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and, of course, you can find Frank. And I still want to see if we could get that guy uh, that wants to do the uh, seven steps of positivity. I mean, although it's, it's been difficult with the frigging uh, Korea thing. I'd love to have him on because I think it's, it'd be great for, for the show. But... Do you want to wait until after the Korea deal, or probably, probably? Well, let's wait. We'll definitely have to wait until the uh, like uh, early. Uh, yeah, do it sometime in January. Okay. All right. I'll set it. We'll set it up. We'll make it work. So, uh, anything else you want to add, Frank? Nope. Devils lost. Although the Nets won again, they're, they're going to suck me in, aren't they? They're going to suck gonna you in, suck Frank. Me in. Just when you thought you were out, they brought you back in. I mean, the, I mean, they, they, they have played, they have played terrific basketball under Jacques Vaughn. It, it, it really shows how bad of coach Steve Nash was, because they have not changed anything, anything. Nothing has changed, and yet the whole, the whole team is much. Team is whole much better, so much better than when uh, 
when uh, when uh, Steve Trash was coaching that team. Him making his TikTok videos. He just he just he just didn't have the tools to coach. Just because you're a Hall of Famer, just because you're you were a great player, doesn't mean you could actually coach. And uh, let me see. I think they were two and five when they finally pulled the trigger. And since then, they're twenty-one and seven. I think it speaks for itself. Uh, it does. I mean, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do in the playoffs, but it, it's working. And even Kyrie Irving's been quiet, which might be the biggest miracle. Yeah, he's been signing autographs for everybody. He's been like going out in the public. I mean, I mean, a quiet Kyrie is a miracle. And 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 they they had a nice game today. They won one hundred eight, one hundred seven. Held on to win. Went into Atlanta. You know, it's not always easy going to win these road games. But we'll see. Maybe they could suck me in. I mean, I thought I thought I was gonna have a year where the Devils were gonna actually make the playoffs, but that doesn't look like it's happening now. It's back to the same shit. Hopefully the next week's a better week, Frank. Hopefully you have a good time in hopefully Arizona. They, hopefully, hopefully the Mets get this Correa deal done. It's 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 driving me nuts. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully we'll know by next week's show. Because it really felt like that was, you know, that one that one thing they never did was get the final piece. Carlos Correa is equal to the Mets getting Gary Carter. That's a bold comparison, Frank. It's the final piece. The, the, the big problem with them is they don't have a, a deep lineup. You could pitch around Pete Alonso. The, the Vogel back, you could uh, feed him on the outside corner. He'll either walk or he'll pop up. Darren Ruff is completely useless. Escobar, he's too streaky. Lindor has his cold spells. They get no production out of catcher. Canna, he is a decent bottom of the order player, but when he rises up in the order, it shows you the deficiency because he has no real power. Uh, Marte, good player, uh, good speed. And when he went down, when he... That lineup died. So you need players that you could plug in. They were having Tyler Nyquil out there. And Tyler Nyquil, I mean, he just struck out every fucking at bat in September. And their inability to get things done at the deadline. This is the this is the move they got to make. They got to be bold. They got to do it. Well, I talked to someone who thinks it's going to get done, um, but also gave it a 51-49 odds chance. Um, that's so it's going down. It used to be was 55-45. That's what someone told Puma, but I, I heard from somebody today that it was 51. They This person I spoke to said 51-49. But they still think it's going to get done. I mean, it just it's, 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 it's maddening. <laughs> and what will happen is, if it falls through, he'll take a... Lesser deal with the Braves, and then the Braves will look like geniuses. Because that's how everything always seems to work for them. At least they didn't get DeGrom. You know, DeGrom wanted to go to the Braves. Yeah, that was a rumor. And he said that he was disappointed the Braves didn't uh, contact him. I, I, I've heard things that like, basically DeGrom basically was an asshole last year. That he couldn't wait to leave. And that... He was angry that they signed Scherzer. I'd believe it. He clearly wasn't happy to be with the Mets last year. Why would you be angry that you signed Scherzer? Like, I get it, but like, because he's making more, he's making more money than him. Yeah, I get it, but yeah, well, maybe, uh, maybe pitch more than ten times in a year. Yeah. On that note. Frank, do you have a jingle to take us out? Uh, let's see. Oh.
Sounds like you're in the 90s looking up flights. What? <laughs> With that little keyboard typing. Well, that's uh, that's um, looking up uh, the song I'm going to sing. Shall old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Shall old acquaintance be forgot and the days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne, we'll drink a cup of soda yet. For the sake of old Lang Syne. Hopefully the Mets get the Korea deal done. And the Devils play like it's November. Because they soft in December. Just like the Miami Dolphins. One day the Dolphins will make the playoffs. Maybe in 2047. Because they won't make it this year. Or in 2023, 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, 29, 30. The, devil, the Dolphins will not make the playoffs. I predict until 2047. Two words of bust, misery, suffering, and pain never end. <laughs> for old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne. Click like and subscribe, and we'll see you next week and next year. Happy New Year. Uh.